Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Milton Tutorials and Toolpath series. This is our exercise number 8 part 3 where we are trying to show you that how we can create a toolpath on a Mastercam Milton, a very special and fully Milton machine that is Mazak Integrated i 200 ST 1500U and that's a really amazing Milton if you have got a chance to see this. This Milton machine cost is very high because it's working facility and all these all that functions are really good so now in the previous video part 1 and part 2 we learn about that this machine simulation in a part 1 and in part 2 we learn about that how we can make the job setup with the help of right hand side initially so if you don't have an idea about that first go and watch the part 1 and the part 2 and in this video we are going to show you that how we can create a tool path on the right hand spindle with the different kind of turning as well as the milling tool path so now let we have to start to create that one component. So for creating that one component, first let we have to start with the turning tool path for that one. I have to click on a turning and once I click on a turning, I have to click on the face. Once I click on the face, I have to click on it. Uh, which uh, axis combination we have to select according to that we make the selection for the left hand spindle and the lower turret. I select the tool because the turret can be rotate in x axis so i can select the tool with the, this x this direction so it automatically rotate itself and we can define the reference position and all the parameters as per the previous will be the same and just press okay so as you can see here my tool path is going to be successfully created right at here once my first tool path is going to be created after that i can create a next roughing tool path and for create a roughing tool path i have to click on a rough I have to select the wireframe from this position to this position just say ok define the value reference position just say ok A rough parameter ok I have to say axis combination this in a rough parameter it is going to from the bottom side use stock from outer boundary in a lead in lead out uh, make some extra mm of lead out it's approx 1 mm and just press ok or I I can make 1 mm extra lead in lead out so it's going 2 mm x and at here I want to make the roughing as well as the finishing operation both at the same time so I make it and make the depth of cut value as a 1 mm and just press ok so as you can see I successfully created a both of the turning tool path the first thing is a rough and after that I successfully created the finishing tool path so now now let we have to start to work on that one component with the, all the milling tool path with the help of upper milling head so there are the vertic various different number of tool path that we have to perform for creating that one component so first operation that I am going to create that is I have to go in a milling and first operation I have to choose the uh, contour when we are talking about the contour so I choose this one is and just press ok once I select this is the next option is we have to select a tool the tool which I am going to select that is a 10 mm flat and mill in a setup I have to choose a face c axis face and where we are working for that that is uh, upper with the help of upper stream and right side face right side spindle so I have to select this in a cutting parameter all parameters should be same in a cutting parameter I am going to use the ramp kind of option with the 1 mm of depth of cut for the each pass in a lead in lead out I have to say 30% in the length and 30% in the radius and make the parameter changes after that I have to came in a linking parameter once I came in a linking parameter I have to define all the parameters like as after once I define all the parameter I have to define the top of the stock as well as the depth value and just press ok so now guys as you can see here all the tool paths successfully created as you can see right at here and that's the beauty of Milton so once I created the tool path my tool will came here and cut it cut consistently as you can see here once I create the tool path for that one area after that I have to create a tool path for that one inter internal area for creating that one tool path I have to check the diameter of that hole and the diameter is 20.32 so for creating that one area tool path I have to choose the tool the diameter should be 12 mm so again I have to came in a mill once I click on a mill after that I have to uh, create the tool path that is known as helix bore 
I have to click on a tool and the tool diameter should be 12 mm and mill tool and diameter should be uh, 12 mm I have to key my setup and the options should be the same C axis face and I have to click on a right hand face always keep in mind that when you are working on a milling module so where you want to work we have to work on a C axis because in that condition C axis will be work consistently in a cutting parameter make the all the parameters same as the mill 2D uh, all this should be a uh, depth value should be 1 mm and multiple time we will going to facing some issues so always try to make with the first with the incremental and after that if needed some modification you can make the modifications so have a look the tool path successfully created for the internal area I have to make the top of the stock 3 mm and now have a look once I successfully created this tool path I can make the copy and paste for the same tool path and make the geometry change from here make a delete all just click on it parameter in a linking parameter uh, make the depth value is this and just press ok so now have a look that's the beauty of Milton tool path I created the multiple various number of tool path right at here so I create the, all the required tool path for the right hand face like as a face a rough out for the outside contour for the internal helix bore and for this one area helix bore so now let we have to the area where that is remaining is this one area and that we will show you in the next one video because the tool path needed to create with the help of multi axis module but before we ending this one video I would like to show you the simulation for that right hand side as well as I would like to show you that how we can make a tool path synchronization when we start to work first on the right hand side I have to select all these tool path and just press G1. So as you can see here, once I press on G1, I have to make right click and expand all these tool paths. So first face after rough and after the roughing tool path, I just call upper stream and after that upper stream will going consistently working and I have to press on the launch. Once I click on a launch, so Mastercam will open a new window where we will get a complete proper machine as well as the machine simulation and that's the beauty of Mastercam and now have a look, this is our part. So now have a look, I have to close the axis, close the workpiece and make a stock properly visible. Now let we have to play. This is first operation going to be phase after that it's going the second operation that successfully done the rough. So once my both operations are going to be successfully created at here after that I have to call a milling head and once now have a look milling head going for the tool change and now it's take a new tool and the tool diameter is 10 mm for make cutting of the outer portion the contour area. Once contour successfully done for the outer area, after that I call a new tool that is a diameter 12 mm of end mill. I can, uh, when you are practicing, you can choose tool always as per your size, as per your need. So you can also choose the outer size diameter 12 mm as well the in, for the internal portion circular milling, also 12 mm. Or you can also make this with the help of a drilling as well. So now have a look. That successfully done with the help of C axis and now make a tool path for the exit outer side. So as you can see here, this is my component and this is my workpiece. So all these tool path be successfully created and after that which tool path is remaining that is a multi axis tool path we need to create to complete that one area. So we will create that one multi axis tool path in the next video. So if you are new and if you don't have an idea that how we can create a multi axis tool path on a Milton module. So go and watch the our part 4 where we teach you a lot of things about the multi axis and the concept of multi axis because that is going to be first time happening when we are running a multi axis tool path on a mill turn so you learn a lot of things in a detail. So thank you so much for watching this one video see you in the next video with the Mastercam multi axis tool path on a mill turn. Keep growing, keep learning.